Good morning. It is with great pleasure that we welcome each of our guests to this worship experience. On behalf of Pastor Philip L. Pointer Sr. and the St. Mark family, we extend warm greetings to you. We hope that today something is said or done that will impact and enrich your life. Please enjoy your time with us. It's a love so true. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful day. Tuesday is election day and your vote matters. Do not let Tuesday pass without having cast your ballot in this year's general election. Rides will be provided between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. on Tuesday. Just in case you need a ride to the polls, you can call the church at 663-3955 to set a time. The sacrifice of serving our country is what gives us freedoms like the right to vote. We want to celebrate our military veterans this weekend, beginning with our benefits fair on Saturday at 9 a.m. in room 320 of the Education Center. Representatives from the VA will be on hand to provide resources for those who have served our country and their families. Then on Sunday, during the 11.30 a.m. service, our veterans will be honored with a special service. Following the service will be a reception in the banquet hall. Be sure to sign up in the atrium and lobby to be included in this reception. We have a new position open at the church. The newly created children's pastor position is open now through November 28th. Information about applying is available on our website in the My St. Mark section. The Worship Facilities Magazine Solomon Awards recognizes churches from around the country and their partners for excellence in facilities design, building expansion or remodeling, operation excellence, innovative use, and technical production. As you may remember, we won a Solomon Award in 2014 for the sanctuary renovation. We, we are, are pleased, pleased to, to announce that the St. Mark Baptist Church Children and Youth Center is, is a, a 2016, 2016 winner of the Solomon Award for the Church Design, Youth and Children's Spaces category. St. Mark, it is because of your contributions we were able to complete this award-winning project. Let's all participate today for All Tide Sunday to continue this celebration. Let's show our great faith by giving sacrificially, proportionally, expectantly, and consistently to honor God. The impact to our community is great, but so is the personal impact for us all when we give. As a single mom and entrepreneur, I've experienced many financial setbacks and hardships. For the past couple of months, it seemed that I never made enough money to satisfy all the bills or business expenses I am responsible for. Being a consistent tither in these times has been tough, but I continue to tithe. The month of October, life was extremely challenging. I was going through a breakup, I had to move out of my home, my tuition was left unpaid, preventing me from finishing school, I fell behind on bills and experienced some health issues. I felt alone, helpless, hopeless, and angry because I was still tithing, but was not convinced that my life was changing. After learning more about the spec principles of giving, my prayer for restoration was strengthened with the tone and belief of expectation. One day, almost immediately after prayer, I received a call from a collector who said that I was eligible for an extension, which would bring my account current. I also received an unexpected financial blessing from family a few days later that allowed me to pay off my tuition and take care of another outstanding balance. In the midst of God changing my circumstances by providing overflow, I was led to bless others who were facing financial hardships as a result of feeling that my resources are not mine. Soon after, I was offered a new job that came with the highest salary of my career, and our business received a commitment of $75,000 to begin programming. I believe that tithing has been my lifeline, as it has not only secured a return of material and financial blessings, but it has restored my confidence and trust in God that regardless of what is going on in my life, he's always got my back. You've heard the testimonies. What will yours be? Are you in? Let's get ready to tithe. 